Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Dr. Mottasim al Hawari. Today I'm going to take you on a journey around Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to learn how to import some images and videos, cut those videos for the best practice for our video, and get a professional look video. Please stay tuned until I finish the tutorial. And if you have any question, please do not hesitate to contact me anytime. When you start launching Premiere Pro, you will find a tutorial here which takes you in Premiere Pro step by step, teach you how to use a basic animation, for example, over here, how to speed a specific video within Premiere, and some course review or overview to Premiere Pro. If you go down as well, you might find some tutorials through the web, and in this case, become very beneficial for you if you are familiar with Premiere Pro. Now, starting with the Premiere Pro, you'll find in the top left corner, you have a new project, and this is a brand new project if you're starting from scratch, and you have an open project. This is already existing project that you already have within Premiere Pro. In my scenario, I'm just gonna click here, new project, which will probably take me to another window where I have to name my project. So in here, you find project name, so I'm going to call it test one. And in this case here, you find the place of your video where it's going to be replaced. I'm going to place it here within my desktop. And some videos on some images might be supported at this case, in case if you would like to use those video in future wise. For myself, I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm going to hit create on the bottom right corner. Once you create Adobe Premiere Pro new project, you might be presented with six different frames. The first frame here is called the panel dock, and this is where you add all your raw materials. Second frame here, you'll find it is a source monitor. And here you're going to add your videos from the raw panel or the panel dock to your source monitor where you can view your video. You can use video only or audio only. And in this case, you can cut part of the video in and out. Next, you'll find here something called a timeline. Timeline where you view the whole materials. So as many videos as you add and put them in sequence, you might get the final output onto your program monitor. Also here, those are the four frame, but we have other two frames here, which are quite useful. The tool panel, where you can use different tools to edit your video. And you might like this one. This is a sound bar where actually it tells you how the sounds appealing to your left or right speakers. Now let's start our project. 